Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Farming Simulator 19. Last episode, what did we do? We started cutting down trees and as you might recognize here, cut down a ton of trees. Let's, uh, let me hop out of the haunts. I'm running into a little bit of an issue with lag. The game is kind of lagging, I think because we just have too much, uh, too many objects on the screen, maybe. I'm not sure. But there's just a lot. There's tree stumps, there's a bunch of logs. And it seems to be slowing down, and it's gotten slower as I get further on. Restarting the game doesn't seem to make it much better. So I think what we're going to do is start picking up some of these logs and cashing in. I haven't cashed any in yet. Right now our balance is, we're at, if I look at the top right, we're at $347,000. 300 347, 395. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Uh, also, towards the end of the last episode, I think we were looking for an auto loading logging truck. The one at the uh, store, the default one, does, didn't have auto loading. So I went and found a mod on just the Farming Simulator website, the mod hub for that. Found this handy dandy auto loader. So I figure what we can do right now is load up a bunch of these logs, cash out, see how much money we get. And then we need to, so we'll be making multiple rounds here, pick up these logs. I didn't cut down all the trees. I left uh, mostly one side. I got a few more to, to take up on the left side there. Let's see if we can get this picked up. I'm going to go ahead and trigger the help. And switch auto load to the right. No, I want it on the left. I need to get rid of the straps. Right now you can see I've got everything kind of tied down. So if I hit L, that takes the straps off. And then the top of the screen on the left, it says B to start the auto loading. Let's do it. B, here come the logs. And that's probably enough. I'll strap them in with the L key. Back up and do a little loop here. We'll unload these. We should get a lot of cash for all of these trees that have been cut. Once we cash them all out, we gotta be careful here. These trucks are tippy when they're loaded with the uh, logs like this. All right, let's see. Unload, start unload. Okay, numpad slash is show the unloading position. Let's try that. That's what we want. Unstrap them, and unloading is Z. Boom. Now, I don't think they're going to generate cash right away. We're going to have to uh, hop out of the truck and click that little little icon, the R thing. I okay, what I mean. Back here, we got to do it manually. Hop on this guy and then hit R to sell the wood. Keep an eye on the top right. 347. What do we get? 32,000 for that truckload. 32,400. Not bad. We're going to do multiple loads here. I think it's B and Z. So maybe I'll turn off the help. B to load and Z to unload. And I can turn that off too. But once we get these unloaded, we need to uh, maybe cut the remaining trees on the left side here. Then we got to buy some equipment, take up these stumps. <laughs> That's going to take a long time. We have a bunch of stumps. I want to get those up and I actually want to plant more trees before I start harvesting the ones on the right side. All right, B to auto load. This is going to take a while. Get all of this up. I'm going to back up, see if I can pick up a couple more of those our way through here more all right that's looking pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and back up whoops take a look here and see where we're at i'm gonna back up like this if we can back knife yeah, it's a little tricky Do 
Yeah, I'm thinking then we can replant some trees. Maybe do the other harvesting. We'll take a look and see where our field's at. I'm pretty sure it's not ready to harvest. It's going to take days, I think. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this. This is kind of labor intensive. Spent quite a bit of time. Uh, what was it again? Now I got to look at the help. D. Unload. I think if I get out of the truck, it will stop unloading. So I guess I think I got to stay in the truck till it's unloaded. And then we'll go sell. That looks like a pretty big batch right there. Let's see what we get. Oh boy, we're we're renting the pond, so we can probably buy one now. There's another thirty-two thousand one hundred, just about. I can get these now. It looks like I'm almost stuck there. I wiggle in here and just get that one that's in the road. Look like it. Can't quite navigate that. I want to get that one that's in the road. Uh, I may have to back in to do that. Okay, now I'm jammed in here. Let's straighten out. Up out of here. Um, I can come at it from the right. Okay, we just lost one. One. Let's switch auto loading to the right. We'll do zero, or we I mean O, and then B. Hopefully, pick up that one on the right. B again to turn it off. I'll lock everything in while I navigate here. Let's see if I can get some of these. I don't know. Got a good path do this all right b uh l let's unstrap b again see if we can get anybody to on board okay, i'm gonna strap them in a little hard to navigate here because of the stumps. The truck's not made to uh, handle what we're throwing at it. We'd love to get these ones out of my path. This path is mostly clear. Let's see. All right. Push to left is O and then B. Unstrap. Here we go. We got it. We got the one we wanted. Uh, let's see. Stop auto load is B. Back out of here. Okay. Try not to jackknife too much. Okay. I'm stuck on a stump. See if a little momentum gets me through. Yeah, it did. Back, back, back. And we can go in this way. Unload. Let's just double check that didn't get switched. That looks good. Undo our straps. Z, stack them up. This piece of land was pretty good investment. Pretty good investment. Let's see if I can get close enough to this thing to trigger it. R, there's another 32,000. But in order for it to stay a good investment, we got to keep planting trees. And later on, we may want the, um, we may want to use these logs, not just to sell directly, but to turn into boards or something and then manufacture project products that'll give us a more of a profit but we're gonna have to purchase more land before we can even unlock those factories i believe 
All right, let's see. Auto load to the right. We're fine right where we're at. So B, let's try and get some more of these guys up. Yeah, they were planted in here pretty dense. I don't think we'll go quite as dense. I had some struggles getting all these trees out. Some got jammed up. They almost flipped the, uh, the ponds tree harvester. I think we saw that last episode, a little bit of that. All right, I'm going to switch auto loading to the right. See if I can get that guy. Take another shipment. More money, 510,000 right now. We could pay off our debt, but we probably won't. Not right away, we'll see. Still thinking about that big grass plot above, you know, on the top of the mountain. It was like 178,000, I think. We could cut that grass and potentially use part of it for forestry. I don't know. You know, the forestry is pretty darn profitable. But I'm not sure how long it takes to grow all the trees. It's going. There's no lag over here. This works pretty good. The other thing I was thinking is we might want a little tractor just to stick around over here if we can afford it just one that could do stump grinding and i guess that's basically it i don't know maybe we won't dedicate a tractor for that but it'd be handy to have one because we're gonna have to grind stumps and then plant new trees we don't need a real powerful tractor for either one of those things that was almost 35 grand right there Let's go get more.
maybe between episodes or something, or later on, we'll cut down the rest of these trees. But I wanted to get these harvested and maybe plant some more where we just deforested that they can start growing because I think it's going to take a pretty long time for this stuff to grow. Again, we're running at like normal speed, like real time speed. I mean, it's not going to take months for a crop to grow or anything, but it's it's the slowest game speed <laughs> that we're on. Uh, let's see, Z. And again, I'm guessing that that other sell point there, I'm thinking that's where we could sell wood chips if we were producing them and get uh, money for those. We'll probably get a chance to try that somewhere down the road. Okay, there's 44,000 more. We're up to 752, 795 for our balance. And 500 grand of that is debt. And we've got the ponds that we have leased. So we may use some of that money to just buy one of these things. Yeah, the semi has a hard time with the tree stumps, but it's doing okay. That one's unfortunate. That one's in a bad spot. In fact, I think I'm going to unload it and try again. That's better. Inch on through here. Okay, it looks like it's working a little better. The auto load hasn't stopped automatically yet. It will once we get to where there's more trees. Still going. Nope, there it stopped. Try it again, kick it on. Don't need that much more for a full load. Or maybe. Um. Hmm, auto load is on. There they are. All right, let's see if we can make this turn. We're not going to be able to make the turn. Look at this. I think I'm overloaded. Look at the... Truck wheels are set to turn, but we're not going anywhere. Oh, maybe I was on top of a log. We make this. Looks like we're going to be good. Very nice. Very nice. In fact, we could turn right. Oops. We could cut that a little tighter, but I guess I can't. All right. I'm hanging up on things here. Wide turn into the grass a little bit. Here we go. There's a boat. I think that's our boat. I think we can actually ship products with that. We'll give it a try at some point. I think there's a fishing boat too on the map where you go to like a fishing spawn point, collect fish. We'll have to try that. I've never done it. Oh man, that is, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad for us. That is really bad. Let's hop out and let's see if the ponds can do it. I don't know if it can. We may need to, um, we may need to purchase some stuff for one of our tractors to be able to recover us. This, I don't know if the Ponce is going to be able to do it. His little arm here is not super strong. Not strong enough for this kind of thing. Not for flipping a truck over. Oh, I take it back. That was easy. Wow. Okay, let's not mess things up. Take our time. Lift up the arm. Zoom out. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Move you over.
Wow, that was quick and that was amazing. 1.196. All right, we're done with that. Let's go... Hmm. I kind of want to chop down these last four trees just for completion's sake. These guys right here. I couldn't quite get to them. But let's go do that. I'm going to find the ponds here. It's way back. We chopped down a ton of trees, but it's we've got a ton left. There's probably another million dollars worth of trees there. That is good for us. Takes a lot of time, and we got to grind these stumps. That takes a lot of time, too. Pretty tedious. But it's all part of the game. All part of the game. Uh, we had some more trees here I kind of wanted to take out, too. Shoot. Uh, let's do it. Let's take these guys out also. that is that we have leased the ponds we may uh keep this lease at least through this day right it says 1757 so what is that almost six o'clock let's uh let's move the ponds out of here but i think we're paid through the day so i may do more tree cutting between episodes we'll see i'm not sure may do more planting tree planting between episodes all right let's get this guy brought in a little bit out of the way then we'll get our truck, hop in the truck, and pick up these last few miles of logs. Raise a little more cash. That should get us to 1.2 or well over 1.2 million. Then we can take a look at how our field's doing. If our grass is regrown, if our crop is ready to harvest, it won't be. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then we can go look at the equipment that we need to tear up these stumps and plant new trees. Hopefully this will cooperate. We'll see a lot of stumps here. Wow. All right. Can you auto load? Nice if these all went willingly. Are so good. Look at that. I'm going to take the win and uh, return these guys to the cell point. Oh, oh, I'm almost stuck. Let's see if I can get through. 
Okay, we've got a little path here that's going to let us out. When we plant trees, we'll leave room at the far end, too, to get out. We may... Yeah, we'll see. We leave this path, too. Tree planting is also a slow process. I guess there's some trees there we can take out later. I didn't see the tonnage. I don't think this was a real big load of trees. But we'll get something for them. Maybe high 20s? Maybe? That's my guess. Although that pile looks pretty flat. Maybe mid 20s. Okay, we're at 33. Way off. Happily way off. That's not bad. 33,000. Okay, that puts us at almost one and a quarter million. Or it is at one and a quarter million. Uh, almost. Go fetch the others. We got more trees over here. You can see they were kind of placed in rows. You can kind of see three rows and there's some random ones sprinkled within the rows. I just tripped on one of the random stumps there. Can I weasel my way in here to get at these guys? Hopefully they'll participate like the other ones did. That's awesome. Man, I'm happy about that. That is cool. I can't believe it. They all went in. Nice. I think I can weasel through here as long as the car doesn't come cut me off. All right. I'm happy about that. Cool. 15 tons, 15.2 tons. Yeah, we just crossed 6 o'clock p.m our in-game day made a ton of money I'd say about a million maybe just under a million cutting these trees That's going to purchase a lot of equipment and or land. So that makes me pretty happy. Did I get the last one out? I did. Bam. 40,000. Nice. Now we are ready to do something else. Let's take a look at the map. We'll see if our field moved at all. I bet it didn't. Okay, growth. Oh, it did. We moved to the next growth stage. So the harvesting, I'm going to have to read the help on that and see if it matters. If we get more crop, if we wait till the third stage of ready to harvest, we might be able to see that here. Harvesting. Crop is ready. Use the harvester. Turn it on. Unload the harvester in the trailer. I don't think... It matters. Okay, improving your yield. There are many ways to increase yield. To obtain a 65% yield bonus, you must spread fertilizer twice. Spread lime every three harvests. Okay. Then to avoid a 35% yield malice, I guess minus, basically. Malice and bonus. Interesting. I never heard that word before. You must remove bad weeds. Otherwise, you lose 20% and then plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. Interesting. Okay. It used to be you had to plow every third time, so they, it looks like they changed that to spreading lime. And now you only have to plow after certain crops. 
Interesting. I'll have to remember that. Grass usage. Yeah, we can do a bunch of stuff with grass. And we've got a decent size on our first around our first field. Uh what else? There's some more stuff to read here. We're not gonna do it all right now. I think look at the map. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. The um I think these three phases just indicate like if you're gonna have plant withering. This kind of tells you how close you're getting towards the end of your time to harvest. That's a guess on my part. But we are one stage away from being able to harvest, and we've got all our equipment sitting there ready. This guy is ready to harvest. The field next to us, if we wanted to buy this one, we could get to it. And it's got some more grass around it. And it's local to where our machines are. So that's pretty compelling. In fact, Hmm. That actually may be more compelling than buying than dealing with the trees right now. What is that crop? Let's see what we got on that field. That wheat. Yeah, our header will work too. Let's go. Let's buy this. Why don't we do it? We got the cash, 600 grand. I say we go for it. Boom. It'll give us something different to do too. A lot of stuff different to do. Uh, we'll get, we'll maybe use workers. We've got the cash to do it. All right, here's our combine. And the crop we want is not this. It's the one next door. But let's head next door and we'll get this guy. We'll get a helper to do this guy. And then we need to go retrieve our grain wagon or trailer. So while our harvester helper is doing his job, we'll go fetch the grain trailer and then we can kind of follow this guy. Ooh, grass just grew a little bit. I don't think that's ready to be cut just yet. You can see the mature stage right next to it. But we've got a bunch of stuff to do now. We've got a crop to harvest on our second field. We've got grass to cut all around the second field. And do something with it. I guess we'd probably sell it again. I don't know that we're ready to make silage or anything just yet. Uh, then we've got, once this is harvested, we may need to plow or fertilizer or plant, do a bunch of stuff on the second field. And then we need to take up tree stumps and plant trees. And then I got more trees to cut. So <laughs> got plenty to do early on here. I'm going to go ahead and just hit H and see if we can get a helper going on this. And I'm going to hop out. Off we go. Weed it is. Oh, I think we need to... Let me hit F1. Okay, it's going to dump out the straw. That's good. We're going to collect that. That's even more work for us to do. I'm going to hit tab till I get to a tractor. Uh, I don't think this truck will pull the wagon. We don't need it. Anyway, this guy is fine. We can send this guy off to the shop. I think our trailer is sitting there waiting for us. You guys got a full tank of gas too. We don't have to worry about gas. Uh, we could have taken that bridge or this bridge. I don't think it matters. We're right in the middle. We'll go look for traffic. We're clear. Come this way. That harvester is going to fill up pretty quick. Oh, look at that. Like a dignitary's car or something. Got little flags in the front. I'm pretty sure our thing is still here at the store. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. I don't think we fetched it. There it is. I see it up here on the left. Ooh, that's kind of tall. I hope our, our little combine can, uh, Ooh, this might be a problem. We may need another trailer. That looks really high. I don't, I think our little, I wonder if there's a way to adjust it, the height. 
It looks tall, right? Oh man. Oh man, oh man. It'd be nice if I could take that top layer down. Um, I don't think there's a way to do it. Let's head back and see if our combine is going to be able to dump in this. If not, we'll have to maybe get another trailer. Or we could actually trade in the combine. Be a little bit of waste of money, but we've got a little bit of spending cash left. 676000 I don't see any special modes here in the help menu telling us what that way we can do anything to make this thing a little lower profile. It almost looks like it adjusts, but not on the sides it doesn't. Well, time will tell. We'll find out pretty quick. We just got to drive next to our combine and see if his pipe can actually reach that high. I'm not too confident that it's going to work. The other thing we're going to need to do is dump out our forage harvester full of grass because we're going to want to bring up, take up this uh, straw pretty quick too. Okay, he's got a full tank of grain. Let's see if we can load this up. Oh man. It's going to be close. That is not a very big combine. Uh, where's your pipe, buddy? Oh, it said nearly. I think you're over here, right? Are you going to be able to get up there? Oh, man, it's going to be close. Whoops. Okay, okay. Let's wait for him to find his way. If we had crop destruction on, I'd be killing off a bunch of wheat. Okay, he's almost full tank. Not quite. i got to get around him. Now that he's going straight, you can see it's going to take him several trips to take care of this field. Maybe that'll work. May oh, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, that is... Oh, what's he doing? What are you doing, buddy? All right. So he's unloading. Once he's unloaded, we may go take the, uh, our forage wagon and go sell that grass. I think we'll get an idea of when he's done. can't tell. I'm looking at the rate the weed is going in. I got to think he's got a tank bigger than 6,000 liters, so... I'm going to pull off. Let's take a quick look at the garage and see if we can figure out how many liters that that thing has. Garage. Here we go. He's only got 5,600 liters. Okay, so we emptied him out. I'm going to disconnect this guy. We are going to run back. Actually, I wonder if I should get the other tractor to do this. Do that. That guy can stay hooked up. I'll hit tab to get to this tractor. This guy... We want to go get the green, the uh, grass thing and sell it. Then I can start collecting that straw from the field. And then allow us to get that field processed and planted faster. Probably should have taken this back before. But I wasn't, I forgot all about the straw. We'll get money for that too. 
Let's go sell this off where we know to take it. We could check prices, but I'm in a hurry. This stuff is not worth much no matter what you do. Where am I? I got to go all the way down here. All right. We could do first person for this if we want. The fact that these tractors are fast is just a huge bonus. I kind of like it. Right, hang a left. And is it on the right? Yeah, I think it's on the right. Check for cars. I don't see anything. There's one in the distance, but we're clear. Yeah, we got a lot more money for the wood than we did for the <laughs> for the grass here. But at least it's something. I think long term we'll probably be using that grass. Ooh, that was not much for income. I guess maybe we sh Oh, it wasn't a full tank. We gotta go this way, right? Yeah, it wasn't a full... Uh, load now this tractor is gonna start harvesting the straw I don't think I can put a worker on forage wagon so we're probably gonna have to do that ourselves down the road if we use an application or a mod called course play we might be able to harvest that uh, straw with a worker so we'll look into that at some point I use that fairly extensively in Farming Simulator 17. But I've only played, I haven't played much Farming Simulator 19, so. We'll have to go get that mod. We will head back. There's a car. We're going to go all the way back to the far field and join up with our combine and our other tractor. I don't see a warning that the grain's full. I can turn off the help now. No cars, we're clear. In fact, we could probably stay on this road. Here's all of our equipment. We're going to have to cart all that stuff way over here. Okay, we've got nearly a full grain tank. It's at 80%. We can do maybe a little bit of this. I think I just hit V and B, B, B. And yeah, we're good. We should be picking up straw now. Yep, you can see in the lower right. Start to pick up this straw. We'll find a use for this place to sell it. Not bad. We're doing our first farming. That forestry paid for this whole field, so that is pretty sweet. Uh, these are small fields, though, as far as this map goes. But we should be able to generate some income off of them, hopefully. I think our combine might be turning around ahead. We're about ready to switch tractors. In fact, we can do it right now. It's kind of a convenient space. We can just uh, hop on in here. Let's go chase after. Okay, he's got a full grain tank. So hopefully his little 
Um, pipe is out. That's actually a better way to tell when it's full. Back, we can really malt. Uh, no, he's going to come back into this row. I was going to say we could just park here and go jump in the other tractor, but we can't. We got to get this guy out of the way. Wait for this to unload. Shouldn't take long. That combine is not very big. It doesn't hold very much. But some of the sting take gets taken away or the tedium gets taken away by being able to use a helper at least to do the job. We'll probably have a helper do fertilizer and cultivating if we need to. I don't think we're going to need to plow unless we choose to plant corn or something. Okay, that is empty. Let's get this guy out of the way. And then hop in our other tractor. Uh, I think I just gotta do B. Yeah. Turn on our forage wagon. Yep, here we go, collecting more straw. Yeah, this we're stuck doing manual, so it's a lot of back and forth up and down the field, but that's farming. You can kind of see why I wanted to go with the slightly bigger tank or the bigger uh, trailer here, capacity. We're doing one strip of this field and we're over 25% full. The hot air balloon in the distance, kind of cool. They're way at the tip top of the screen. Now getting out of view. This guy, I'm going to come into this camera mode. It's kind of hard to turn right on the exact next row. You can see the turning radius is kind of slow. I'm going to go for every other row initially. Not too bad. We're doing it. We're farming. Straw is not a very valuable product. I don't know what we'll be able to process this into. I think early on we're probably just going to sell it. I think it might be able to be turned into silage. I'm just not sure. can't remember. And then uh, when I played Farming Simulator 17, I used a lot of mods. And so it could be I had a mod that allowed me to do it, but in the base game you're not able to do it. We'll collect it up. Even though the tractor has a high top speed of 75 miles per hour, the implements limit you. So we're only able to go 12 with this forge wagon. That's as fast as it, it'll go. There's modded ones that allow you to go faster, but it kind of, you know, it just it has the effect of making the map smaller. Might as well just pay on a, play on a smaller map with smaller fields. If you really want to move fast through the different tasks. Right, coming to the end of this row, we will have to double around to get the row to our left. We'll have to make a very wide turn, pull that off. Not bad. Pretty day. Nice scenery. Castle on the hill there. Talked about maybe buying that land up there. Bunch of grass. I think if we had livestock nearby, that would be a handy place to produce animal food. Not sure what this lot is over to our right. That looks like a big open space. That could be nice for uh, placing animal pens. A nice flat spot. We might think about doing that, actually. 
soon. That would be good to get the animals going too. All right, we're at 77% full. Not a huge field. It's pretty long, but it's not real deep. One thing we can do, once this is full, this wagon, we can go check and see. Oh, not this one. The, um, the grain wagon. We can see if we can store that grain somewhere. Or if we have to unlock the land first. Buy the land where those silos are. We'll see. And we can obviously sell the grain, sell the wheat. Or we can save it. All right, our combine's getting close to being full. So is this, our forge wagon. Forge wagons full. Could take a quick look, see where we're going to sell this. Uh, let's look at the prices. Straw. Where is straw? I'm not sure. Oh, it's going to show us. Let's uh, go back to the vehicle. Okay, it's little arrows pointing down, or little chevrons pointing down a straw. All right, let's see if we can find that. There it is. There's straw. $91 at the landfill. The price is going down. Let's mark the landfill on the map. And before we go there, let's go empty out the combine. With our other tractor. That is... This guy's got the wheat. We might be able to leave this one in the field. I don't know if that combine is going to make it all the way back. Before it gets full again. So I may just park this guy here and move on. Yeah, let's go for the other guy. And now let's go head over to the landfill and try that out. That's a new destination for us. Wow, it's far away. Wow, is it far away, but we'll do it. Way up in the top left of the map. Gives us a chance to explore a little bit. But we're going to have to... Yeah, I may leave the map open for a little bit. Find a way. Looks like we might have to take two bridges. Let's see. We'll just leave the map up for a bit. We know we got to head this direction. Fortunately, like I said, these tractors move pretty good. Even hauling a full forage wagon, we're able to move pretty fast. In fact, we're going to pass this car. This looks like that dignitary vehicle with the, uh, the flags on it. That looks cool. That looks really cool. All right. At some point, hopefully there is a road going to the right. I'm going to keep on going and hope that there's a path through here. He's there. Yeah, it looks like there's a road. Got a couple of pump jacks there pumping oil. Got a lot of the map to discover. We're going to do that over time. Okay, we got to go straight up. I can just put the mini map on now. No problem getting up this hill with this tractor. If we had a weaker tractor, this would not be going that fast. So I don't know how many of these tractors we'll actually buy. If we'll try to limit 
you know, try to limit ourselves to just the two and get by with more regular tractors and just keep these as our all prayers our you know, runarounds that are fast. We'll see. They are handy, boys. 75 miles an hour is, is pretty good. Now, there's trucks that go even faster. We saw our semi all go faster, and we could maybe... I don't know if we could hitch onto this with one of our semis or not. I know I had one when I was playing before that would hook up to these... forge wagons, and I could haul them at like 100 miles an hour. But it gets hard to drive, and things start to serpentine. Oh, check out the wind farm up here. Pretty cool up here on the right. Okay, there's our beacon there showing us where we need to go for the landfill. Get something for this. I think we gotta take a right. I think. Oh, it's hard to know. We're gonna take a right. in here I don't think so maybe I didn't have to take a right yeah I need to get down there somehow um hmm kind of tricky kind of tricky is there a way down there might be the other way let's back up in fact I can probably just Cleverly use this little spot. Ooh, even with my poor, poor driving. Let's see if we can get there from the other direction. That almost looks like... I don't know what that is. That dirt there. Big map. We got a lot to explore. A hairpin turn here. Yeah, we're going down. This is probably the right direction. We may have to move our other tractor out of the way of the combine. I'm not sure. It should tell us it's blocked if it runs into trouble. Okay, yeah, we're... Here we are. We need to just dump off right here, I believe. And I think this is a better price than what we got for the grass. Here's the landfill, I think. Can we dump here? Let's try it. We're getting cash. Let's see how much we get for this load. Not going to be a ton. This isn't like a crop. 5,000. It's not bad. It's worth a trip. Check out the junkyard here while we're here. Old cars. Scrap metal. Debris of all kinds. Probably something for us to do in here too. We'll have to learn what that is. Something here. I don't know what this is. Kind of dump point or... Uh, what is this? Okay, helper G is blocked. We gotta go... I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here quickly. This guy's got to move out of the way of that combine. In fact, while we're here, we could probably empty that combine. It's, I bet it's mostly full. Yeah, near it's 80% full. So we want to get up to, I don't know, another 5,000. So is it 23,000 liters maybe? And then... Yeah, I think if we get to 23,000, the combine should be mostly empty. Then we'll go back and check out the junkyard. We'll go 24,000 liters. Just because he's taking in more grain as we do this. Oh, nope, it's slowed down. He's done. He's done. All right, here we are back here. What is there stuff here? Don't know. 
because I've got a forge wagon, a lot of stuff is probably not going to trigger if there is stuff to trigger here. This is the landfill. That looks like water storage. Yeah, I'm not sure. Something there. Did that have any help? Let's see if. Inner vehicle, no, nothing there. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, let's get back to where we need to go and harvest some more of that straw. We got to come through here, I think. Tell you what, let's wrap this here and we will pick it up in the next episode. For now, this is Glider Cat signing off saying thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.